What do Jamie Carragher, Tony Adams and Ryan Giggs have in common? Besides the fact that they're former players, they're also distinguished by another feature. They spent their entire career in one club. 20 years ago, such football players could be found in almost any top league. But with the persistent growth and the popularity of football, and due to the annual summer transfer madness, they have become extinct. Nevertheless, some of the active players in England have a chance to become, albeit not the new toddy, but at least the legend of one club. You're watching Football Geeks, and let's take a look at the current most loyal players of the Premier League. Harry Kane Harry is a Tottenham Hotspurs Academy graduate. At the dawn of his formation, the young talent was loaned many times. He played for Leighton Orient, Millwall, Norwich City and Leicester City. The striker is an example of innate perseverance and faith in oneself. 99% of players who do not get playing practice at the age of 20 or 21 leave the club. Mauricio Pochettino placed trust in the young talent of the Spurs. Under the Argentinian coach, Harry Kane became to score regularly, received a call to the national team and for four years now has been the main transfer target of many European giants. Which path will Spurs number 10 take? We think that much will depend on the results of the team. Players of Kane's level must win trophies, and he understands this perfectly himself. Chris Smalling Chris Smalling started playing football at the age of 9. In June 2008, a young promising player signed a three-year contract with Fulham. It was expected that he would start from the reserve team. However, Chris quickly impressed the then-coach Roy Hodgson, and on December 28, 2009, Smalling made his debut in the Fulham starting lineup in the Premier League, and a month later signed a preliminary contract with Manchester United. This spring it was rumored that a tall centre-back drops out of the Mourinho's plan, but as we can see, he still remains the first team player amid all the problems in the MU squad. Antonio Valencia This is the first non-European to play more than 300 matches for the Manchester United. The career of Antonio Valencia began in 1999 in the academy of El Nacional. Over the next five years, he quickly progressed and attracted the attention of European clubs. Spanish Villarreal bought the player in 2005, but Antonio could not gain a foothold in the club. Eventually, he opened his full potential while being on loan for Wigan Athletic. Outstanding game during the two seasons paved the way to Manchester United, with whom the player signed an agreement in the summer of 2009. After Sir Alex Ferguson left the post of Manchester United head coach, Antonio had to change his playing position. He became to cover the flank of the defense and gradually secured this place on the pitch. Last summer, Valencia was given the captain role after veterans Wayne Rooney and Michael Carrick left the club. Football experts and team fans agree that under Jose Mourinho, Valencia is experiencing a second youth. Vincent Company. One of the youngest players in the history of the Belgian national team, Company made his debut at the age of 17. Vincent began his career at Anderlecht. There he was twice recognized as the best young player in Belgium. In addition being the main player, this defender two times won the Belgian championship. In the summer of 2006, Vincent moved to the German Hamburg, but he got injured in November. The century left him without football until the end of the season. In 2008, the defender fell within the scope of Manchester City. The rising top club paid £6 million and signed a four-year contract with the player. Over time, Vincent Company secured his place in the center of defense. For the last three seasons, City's number four is constantly experiencing problems with injuries that do not allow him to fully stake out the status of the main squad player. However, Company is still in good shape, and if he's ready to play, Guardiola definitely includes him in the first 11. Aaron Ramsey Ramsey came to Arsenal in 2008 for the £5 million fee from Cardiff. Like many talented players under Arsene Wenger, he began his professional career early, but permanent injuries did not allow Ramsey to concentrate fully on football. We are sure that everyone still remembers that horror tackle with Ryan Shawcross. 
Unfortunately, Ramsey will hardly add a few more years to his status as the Arsenal player. Most likely, he will leave the club next summer after the parties have not agreed on the new contract. The existing agreement expires next summer, which means that he will become a free agent if he is not sold in the winter. Let's wait and see. Despite all the rumors, the season Aaron was included in the Arsenal starting lineup six times, made three substitute appearances, scored one goal and made three assists. Not that bad for a player the coach does not believe in. Leighton Baines Baines began at the Liverpool Academy, but then moved to the camp of the principal rival Everton. Typically for many young players, Leighton could not immediately get into the main squad of the Toffees. The young player was forced to try his luck at Wigan Athletic and did not lose. For two years, Baines along with teammates produced a rapid takeoff. The team made two hyper jumps. The first one landed them in championship and the second one in the Premier League. In July 2007, Leighton returned to Everton, already in the status of a promising football player. Everton had to pay about £7 million to get his former graduate back. Baines himself said that from childhood he dreamed of playing for the Blues. Everton's famous number 3 stepped over the mark of 400 matches for the club in March last year, and his performance as a defender is stunning – 38 goals and 66 assists. By the way, by the last indicator, Leighton is the record holder of the Premier League among defenders. Danny Rose Surely you did not expect to see Danny on this list, but we will remind you that Tottenham bought out the player from Leeds United back in 2007 for a modest, even by those standards, £1 million. But the road to the first team of the Spurs was thorny, and it took five years to gain a foothold in the starting eleven. He managed to oust Benoit Asso Ekara from the defense line, and in general, the 2013 and 2014 season became a breakthrough for him. Since then, Danny often appears in the starting lineup, despite minor injuries. In the summer of 2017, the player was close to moving to Manchester United. It was rumored that Rose criticized the policy of the Spurs and the management considered his immediate sale. Perhaps it would have happened if not Kyle Walker's departure to Manchester. City significantly weakened Tottenham's defense line and the loss of Rose would not have passed unnoticed, given that the Spurs did not sign any defender in the summer window. The last World Cup returned confidence to Spurs number 3. Even though rumors about his departure did not weaken at all, but the player remained in the Pochettino's team. The total number of games for the first team does not allow Danny to claim the status of the future legend of the Spurs, but we could not ignore him in our top. Still, Rose is one of the all-timers of the current team. Phil Jagielka The legend of two clubs, Sheffield United and Everton. It was to them that Phil gave all his years as a professional player. Sheffield scouts saw a promising player and a young boy and invited him to the club's academy. We think that many fans of the Premier League remember what kind of game maturity a young player demonstrated back in the day. In 2005, the defender rejected the proposals of many top clubs for the sake of Sheffield. Unfortunately, the last were relegated to the championship in the 2006 and 2007 season. The player of Igelka's caliber just could not stay in the championship. So in the summer of 2007, Phil moved to the Goodison Park for £4 million. Overall, Phil Igelka has been Everton's main player for the past 11 years. The captain started the current season not very well. In the match of the first day, he managed to get a red card and soon landed in the injured list. Contrary to all hurdles, Phil will still play a significant role in this season. Mark Noble The only player of our top was a chance to become a new Steven Gerrard for the West Ham. Mark Noble is a graduate of the club's academy, he is the captain of the team and for 10 years he has been an undisputed player in the first 11 of the Hammers. Mark is stable, he did not leave the club after relegation and copes well with pressure. In general, the player demonstrates all the necessary qualities of a true captain. He is 31 and he may roll out another 5 powerful seasons, which we wish him to do. Julian Spironi The Argentinian goalkeeper has been protecting the gates of the Eagles for 14 years. 
Julian Spirani moved to Europe quite early, quickly rushing through all the levels of the club Atletico Platense Academy, a talented goalkeeper moved to Danby in Scotland. Over time, he won the place of the first goalkeeper of the team and held it firmly during his entire stay at the club. In 2004, the Argentinian goalkeeper was bought by the English Crystal Palace. All that happened next is an incredible story that deserves a separate video release. Spironi signed the contract with a club that has just won promotion to the Premier League, but immediately flew out of it. In addition, the club's number one did not leave the team when the Eagles experienced severe financial problems, and in 2013, he helped the team to return back to the Premier League. Julian won the Crystal Palace Player of the Year award four times, and he is the first player in the history of the club to win this award three years in a row. Nowadays, Spironi is a player of reserve and rarely appears on the field, but fans love him and he loves the club. He has long been the legend of the Eagles. So what do you think, friends? Whose presence in this list really surprised you? Maybe we missed someone? Please share your opinion in the comments. If you like this video format, support our channel with a like and a subscription. This will help us understand that our informative releases are worth the effort. You've been watching Football Kicks. We'll see you soon.